Dylan, Cherry Boy, 1919, and it's been, I don't even know, a little while since the last video. I've been trying to do this video a couple times and every time I gave up because either it was too long or I messed up and it was too long. So, yeah. And this time, hopefully, hopefully it'll turn out right this video. I have this one to review next. Um, another one that you can just see the little bit of her dress, and then, my room's too messy, oh my god, look how messy that is. Right there, that's blurry, is another one. All three of these are Robert Tonner dolls. This one, and this one are both Robert Tonner, and that one is Robert Tonner, um, Wild Imagination, I think it's called, and that is... This, I'm going to say her name my way. I don't know if it's right. Evangeline Gasly. Crystal Ball version. All three of these I've gotten off eBay. I haven't bought them brand new from the website. I am going to buy one brand new one from the company. Of Robert Tonner. But that one is going to be put on hold. Even though I have enough money to get it now. I kind of want to save up my money. So I'm going to wait until I get paid. After three times. So that's like six weeks. After six weeks getting paid three times then I'll buy something because I need to buy a new chess piece for my obitsu my 57 obitsu centimeter obitsu I'm getting her a larger chest and then I need to buy Mr. Super Clear and then I can't remember I think I was going to buy some eyes oh eyes for my resin soul picks you I think that's the one I have so I have a couple stuff to buy. I'm all go I'm going to buy all that stuff on junkiespot.com. That's a really good website, so you guys should check it out. All you doll and um, BJD lovers and everything, that's a good website to look for stuff and supplies. But uh, I'm getting off track. This review is on Robert Tonner Vintage Basic. This is the rooted blonde version. There, I found out there's two versions, at least I think there's two. There's this one right here, the one I got, which I love. And then there's another version, which is a brunette, and her hair is a wig. And she, instead of having painted eyes like this, she has, I'm not sure, glass or what they are. But she has inset eyes, inset eyes. And they're really pretty. I would love to get her, but she seems to be harder to find. And I saw this one for a long, long time ago. I've been wanting for a long time. And now I finally have her. And she's so pretty. And I've been wanting to do a video of her for since I've gotten her. Because I've been wanting to play with her hair. Because it's hairspray. Not extremely hairspray. It's a uh, soft hairspray. I don't know if it's from how long it's been in there. Or it's just whatever type they use. But it's not hard. So it's, it has a lot of movement. But I just want to wash her hair and brush it and everything. One thing from not even playing with her hair is just like moving around, a piece of it fell off. So I guess somehow it wasn't attached to the rest. It kept its perfect curl right there, as you can see. It's kind of funny to me. Now let's start off with her face. She has paint, hand painted details of her face. She has such pretty eyes. They're so blue and pretty. She has some nice lips. They're kind of red, more red in the video than they are in real life at least they're more of pinkish red in real life the one thing that annoys me is her eyebrows are not consistent this side is a little if it would unblur Let's see focus this side is more prettier to me as you can see than this side because this side goes right into the crease more than that side she has some nice eyebrows beautiful rooted blonde hair one thing, though, I got her, too, is I was thinking of making her into, like, an Alice in Wonderland custom because she's just so pretty. And she's perfect to me to be it. She did not come with a stand or anything. She came with only what she has on right now. So, her outfit. It is semi-two-piece. The whole, the pants and the top is one piece. Her little corset part is a separate piece. And it's really cute. I love it. It gives her, like, a more defined waist. And she also came with these pretty shoes that I thought I lost. I was finally able to find them on my BJD because they fit her. The one thing, though, is I don't know if it's her feet or the shoes, but 
this shoe is a little bigger than this one. They stay on perfectly. It's just when you put them on, you can feel one slips on like perfectly because it's a little wider. Well, this one's more narrow and like takes a little more pushing to get on. I'm not sure what body she is of the of theirs, but if I'm correct, I think she's the Tyler body. And let's see if it'll focus. There it goes. Like I was saying, she's the Tyler body, which means she has, let me try with one hand. She has detachable hands. That you can take off and on. And I am going to try. And her feet to come off. Those ones were actually a little easier. The reason why is because this body has. You can buy from the company. Or maybe on eBay. Um, uh, I can't even think of the word. Different hands. That's not what I wanted to say. But different hands. She has these, ele these nice hands right here. Then some elegant hands. And gripping hands. The one thing that. A little annoying is when you go to buy the hands, you will get whatever hands your doll has on. You will get them twice because you don't have the option of just buying one pair of hands by itself. You had to get all three pairs. So you will get like, since of mine has this hand, I will get this hand again if I buy them. And I kind of do want the gripping hands. So and I don't know what I'll do. And the same thing with the feet. The feet come with these heel feet, then with flat feet with a little ankle joint. And then with ballerina feet, which are just kind of weird looking, but I just love them because they're really like neat and really detailed. They're more curved into themselves like that to be more like a ballerina on her toes. And another reason I want them is I think if I were to make a mermaid tail for her, those would be the perfect feet for her. So let's see if I can get that. Yep. See, it just slips on really easily. She has a hinge knee, so not that much movement. Her hip does move a little, so you can turn her leg a little more to the side. But because of her knee, you have to like twist her at her hips a little so she can be able to sit with her legs going straight. Because if you don't, she gets her ankles crossed, which actually looks really good if you want her to be like all elegant when you pose her or something. She also has a little uh, chest joint right here. I would take her clothes off, but I just barely put them back on after having her naked forever. The joint does not allow her to move front and back, but it does allow her to go side to side. <clears throat> Let me just hold her like that. No front to back movement. She does have some movement in her head, but it's not that much. It's more front to back than side to side. But because of the joint right here, it does help it. I just love her face. So pretty. She's articulated also at the waist with a swivel joint like the old Barbies had. Which is good, I guess. I don't really ever like that type of joint. But I do like how it does give them like more narrow waist. So it's good and bad at the same time. Her fingernails and her toenails are painted. Let me see if I can get the shoe off. And there it is. And not really anything else I can think of to say. I know this is like a really sh not detailed short review. But I really just don't want to go into so much details. Because I do not want it to go over. But one other thing I think I should say. Is that annoys me. Is her elbow, elbow joint is more curved outwards. So it bends more going out towards her body than in towards in forward to her body because if you look you can see like the joint how it's cut goes more slanted this way so when you try to have her uh, her elbow forward and you're thinking it kind of does have some stress on here which this is a not a hard material like the rest of her body like that it's more like a uh rubbery i guess you can say material on this part so which is good because i'm going to cut this a little more so it not as bad. So that's just a little disappointment I have in it the here and there. I do love her and I'm glad I got her. I really like Robert Tonner dolls. There's a lot of them that I like, but some of them are so expensive. I'm thinking of getting, if any of you have seen them, the Robert Tonner uh, Wicked Witch and Good Glinda the Good Witch. 
I think you can need both of those. I know they both do have the Evan Evangeline body. So I'm thinking of getting those versions because I know they made he made other versions like more movie accurate, but I like these ones more. So those are what I'm thinking of getting next. But what I'm more thinking of getting next is Tonner Deja Vu Penelope Mood or something like that. I can't remember which one it is. It's one where she has like two pairs of hands, two wigs, and everything. She's still pretty. We'll see what happens. So that's all for this video. The next video will be more detailed. And the next one will be this beautiful one that I'm not showing you guys yet. I just love her. just got her just a couple days ago. And you'll find out all the problems I had the day that I got her. I had a lot, a lot of problems. So that's it for now, guys. Bye.